Hello everyone, it is Nancy Taylor here. Welcome, welcome to today's Pilates core workout. We are taking 10 minutes to work your core. It's going to be awesome. Awesome, awesome. Now, if you are doing the series that we have, there's 20 minutes. We have upper body, we have lower body, we have a hit training, and this is the core sec section that is 10 minutes. You can do this by itself. You can tag it on to any other workouts, but let's get right into the workout so you can be on your way. All right, we're gonna start on your back. We're on the mat for the entire workout today. Again, it is core. I just need to fix my clock. And then we'll be good to go. Here we go. Okay, roll down one vertebra at a time. We're gonna do some pelvic tilts. Now, if you're like, wait, let's get right into the core stuff. We are. <laughs> we're getting right into that deep core. We start with deep core, and then we're gonna progress to more advanced exercises. So stay with me. We're working all parts, parts of your core, your deep core, we're working your obliques, we're working that exterior core, that like six pack abs there too. So we'll be working all of it, just stick with me. Okay, lift those hips up and down it is flow style. So there's not a certain amount of time on each exercise, nor are we counting. We are flowing from one to the next. It's just awesome, awesome. I want you to feel amazing after this core workout and hopefully you'll tag it on to other workouts as well. You can most definitely, you can check out our deep core. I have 15 videos in a series. Each of them is five minutes and it progressively moves through um, the beginner to intermediate to advanced for your deep core. So you'll see some of those exercises here in this warm up. So up and down and in the middle and end of this. So left leg up, reach up and down. Nice, give me one more. Foot comes down, right leg up, lift and down, lift and down. Last two, and last one. Good, now we're going to move into that Pilates 100. Hug those legs in, they go to that 90 degree angle. You can pump it here, you can bend those legs here. Keep your head on the floor. This is level one, level two is here, and level three, my legs go out. Now I'm gonna do a mixture of level two and three. So inhale for five, exhale for five. Inhale for five. Exhale for five, put like a little tennis ball here, gaze towards your navel. How do we avoid coning? We wanna connect from the pelvic floor, hug the transverse abdominals, connect before we extend those legs. We don't want this cone coming up. If it is, we go back down here and we stick here and we practice connecting, okay? Good, inhale five, exhale five. I love Pilates, I love that it's challenging yet low impact. It is such a great workout for your core. It's great for that pelvic floor. I just feel like every woman should, their doctor should say, go do Pilates after you have babies. It's just so great, but also understanding when your body's ready for each exercise. That's when that the 15 video series will come in handy. So check in the description box. I leave a link below every video. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now hug those legs in, drop that head rock side to side. Pilates 100 is such a great warm up. Are you sweaty? Yeah, I am too. Even though you probably maybe have already done a workout. <laughs> I'm extra sweaty now. Okay, you're going to move to the crisscross. So right leg comes here, left leg here, tug, tug switch. Now level two, my leg comes closer to 90 degrees and I'm going to engage that core lift up here. I twist across. I'm going to exhale. You can alternate your breathing and inhale here or exhale. Inhale, transition, exhale. Good. I think my cutie cutie Kai is awake. So good. This is 10 minutes. If you have a child that's needing you, I think I heard him. My boys are sick today. So we are rocking the sick day. Lots of snuggles, lots of rest, but they very much need mom. <laughs> While they were resting and snoozing, I thought, I better film this. And I got what I could get, get in, right? That's what you do. You do what you can, and we don't blame, we don't resent. We just get to create our thoughts around our circumstances and what's happening, and then we get to show up at that version of ourselves. Okay, double leg extension, head comes down, exhale, extend, inhale, come together. Level two and three, lift that upper half, gaze towards that navel, exhale and inhale. Exhale, draw in and exhale, inhale. Exhale, 
I exhale as I extend so I can have my spine against the floor. I want to avoid a gap there. Inhale, exhale. Good. Okay, rock side to side. Hey, Jack, Jack. Jack, can you get Kai? I might need to go grab my little guy. Okay, we're gonna pause it there. All right, Kai's got a bowl of cereal. He's doing great. We're gonna move to the star pose. Our arms are out here. You're going to come up, and you can use this arm here to help you up, to crunch that arm to, to leg. I exhale, up. Exhale, inhale down. Exhale, up, inhale down. Exhale, inhale. Modification, I don't come all the way up. I can lift and lower that leg. If you can, you can also help with that elbow. Just wanna make sure that my core is engaged. I'm not just relying on the arm. Good, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, hold it here. Full body roll up, arms are here. You're going to inhale to 90 degrees. Exhale as you curl one vertebra at a time. Just give yourself a little boosty boost if you need. Exhale, inhale, exhale, roll down one vertebra at a time all the way to above. Inhale up, exhale, curl, curl, curl. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale up, exhale, curl in that belly button and let the spine hit one vertebra at a time. Inhale up, exhale, up, exhale. There's that sticky point, it's still sticky. It just takes practice, huh? Still working on core strength, always improving, always working to Get better, stronger, um, just feeling good, right? Inhale, exhale down. And awesome. Okay, we're going to go to V-ups. So your um, options, you have multiple options here. So first option, my elbows are here, or hands are here, elbows back. I come together. So I can bring those legs into the chest and body comes together, okay? You're here. I always call that one like a pregnancy VF. <laughs> like, push. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Other one is full um, V up here, but I have a bent leg. So I can bring my legs in and bent up or you're straight up and down. <sighs> Good. Breathe. We're not holding our breath. You can exhale as you come up. Good. Good, give me one more. Ooh. All right, bomb those feet together, bend forward. Nice little stretch. We're gonna work on those obliques on your sides. It's a side plank. So I'm gonna have my hand planted here. Feet are out. Now, if this bothers your hips, have your knees on the floor here. Okay, sometimes our hips just aren't right back in shape, right? <laughs> after, it could be a year or two years, however long after having kids, sometimes it can put pressure on them. So we're gonna reach down and up, down and up, down and up, good. Working those obliques, up, down, and up, down. Last one. Okay, now hips down and lift. Eight more, seven more. Three more, last two, last one, hold, hold. Good, switch over to the other side. All right, same thing, knees can be down or you can stack those feet and be up, reach under. We're doing 10. I know I said we're not gonna count, but kinda wanted to be even. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Jack's a little sad because he has a birthday party. His friend has a birthday party today. He's like, I don't, my throat doesn't hurt anymore. He has a fever though, so we can't go. Hold it. All 
All right, come all the way down. Awesome. That is burning, right? I'm feeling it. Okay, we're going to work a couple more on those obliques. So coming all the way down, it's just a crunch. Turn your body towards the sky. Knees are down, up and down. The double pulse. Exhale, exhale. You can also take those arms. Reach, reach. You choose. How are we on time? Woo. We're doing great. We were right at 10 minutes. <laughs> we're at 940 right now. Don't worry, I'll have you finished. Three, last two, last one. I actually was meaning to do this one while we were on both sides, but you know, such is my brain. Up and down, up and down. And down, now if you're working your core and you're saying, I'm doing abs every day, your abs are something that you can train every day. Not like, um, say I was working my biceps or shoulders, they need a day to rest and recover. But your core, you can work each day. But if you're feeling like I'm not seeing the results, I'm going to recommend doing deep core exercises. They seem so simple, but it truly is the simple actions that make the biggest change. So check out that series and linked below. And then also is nutrition. Is there one thing? It doesn't have to be, I need to improve all my nutrition. What if you just improved breakfast? <laughs> what if instead of having, you guys are all done right there. Now make sure you check out below. I have a stretching video for you so you can finish up if you're wanting to stretch today as well. Um, um, but if you are looking at nutrition and you look at all of it as a whole, it can be overwhelming. But if I wanted to say, instead of having cereal each morning, just like cold cereal, and maybe you love that and want to plan ahead to have it, but think of fuel, like I could have some eggs and toast. I want to have a protein in there along with a carb. So it gives me that good energy and is also filling. Have you had a bowl of cereal and one hour later you're starving? <laughs> so I like to do oatmeal and I'll do a scoop of protein powder and then I'll add in like some nut butters. I'll add in some Greek, plain Greek yogurt. So it has good protein. It still has great carbs. It has great energy and almond milks in there too. So something super simple, maybe you switch to having eggs and veggies. You have eggs and then roasted veggies or that you or an omelet. You can choose, but just pick one thing to improve on. It doesn't have to be, I have to do this crash diet. I have to fix everything. Just pick one. And then as you get better at that, you get to pick another thing. I call this habit stacking. I have a guide below that's all about habit stacking, how you can incorporate this into your life to improve one day at a time. All right. I hope you guys know that you are amazing. You're doing a great job each and every day. Thank you for joining me for these workouts, being here, listening to these videos, liking them, subscribing. It supports me. It helps us out, it helps us to grow this channel and to reach more lives, helps help more women and moms to just know that you're valued and you're important and your time and energy is so important. And as you focus on improving yourself, you'll improve all the things around you. Everything you touch will be improved. All right, we'll see you guys. Goodbye.